Stand back! Let the prince with his spurs. Well, so the great Aslan has returned. My queen would be interested in this, Miss Lewis. But before I go, would the mighty one like to test my strength? Are you so afraid of Finner's oath that you designate the mere mortal to fighting your steed? In that case, my queen will dispatch her army in a wink of an eye. <laughs> This is all you got? This puny little mortal can't even do anything to fit us all. Hi, I'm Jeremy Peterson, the theater arts teacher at A.L. Brown High School, and I'm also the director of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. We chose this play because this year we decided not to do a musical here at the school, but we wanted a play that could go in place of the musical. So we chose something that would require um, a lot of set, a lot of costume, uh, and a lot of imagination in order to go, but as well as using an entire cast. Um, usually our shows have 12 to uh, 15 people, and we chose a cast that would have about 25 people for the show. Um, we also wanted to challenge the students uh, when choosing the show. Uh, this show requires them to be animals, to be dwarfs, to be, we have a Father Christmas, we have Aslan the Lion, we have the Beavers, uh, we have, um, even later on in the show, they're all the witches' army, so they're these grotesque, mangled, weird kind of creatures, and most of the actors double uh, as those characters, so we wanted something that was challenging to the students, and that would require them to push themselves. Uh, to play Peter, uh, you really have to just be confident, like you really have to just, just be Peter, like he's the older brother who really is protective of the family, but also needs guidance himself, because he doesn't have a father figure, and you really just have to like dwell into the emotions of like not having a father, but having to be the man of the house, and it really is a personal touch to me. And, I really enjoy being here. Well, being in the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is a really cool experience to do. And to play these animals, it's very different from doing natural theater, which is acting like as humans. Like, we get to have different postures, walk differently, have different voices and things, and it's pretty fun. And it was my favorite book when I was younger. I had all the series of the Chronicles of Narnia, so it was really awesome getting Susan and being able to be one of the like, main characters in the book. So I was really excited about it. My character, she's very motherly, and I have to be, I have to shelter the younger ones, and it's just, it's really, um, it's really neat. It's the first play I've ever been in. So it's very different and very clay. What do you think about it? Um, I've been in several plays here, but this one, it's a really new experience because it is such a popular play. And because the characters are so different, like we're animals, you know? So we're not ourselves. And you have to put a lot of effort and dedication and everything into it. So it becomes this new magical Narnia land and not a high school on stage. And it takes a lot of time and focus, and we've really put a lot of work into it. And it's a great experience, and I've loved it. What is And I think that everyone should come and see this show because we are using 13 prosthetic faces, uh, face mask in this show, which typically you don't find um, in a high school. And so this would be a great thing for people to come see. They, the students have been very dedicated to putting these on, taking them off. It takes 30 minutes to get the glue off for some of them from their faces. And they're really just very excited to be these animals. So instead of just painting a little bit on their face, we have these uh, masks that have been formed to the jaw and to the nose of their faces, which I think is an excellent thing for them to do. And again, presents another challenge for them as actors and pushes them to be creative and to move and think like they're animal. And well, what is it like having to wear the prosthetic for your role? Well, it's pretty, it's a good view to look at from off stage, but when you have to take it off, it's a pain. Yeah. What is it like taking it off? Um, 
I wouldn't say ripping your skin off. I would say kind of like duct tape taking it. The prosthetic, it's fun, but um, it's tedious. Like I think it's falling off right now, but um, taking it off is a real pain. It looks amazing when it's on you and you're like, oh, you're a beaver. And then you take it off and you have to like peel it from your face and it's quite painful. And then the glue doesn't come off. So there's a lot of background work in making it look this good.